Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Eva and I am a millennial who is absolutely obsessed with makeup. In today's video, we are going to be going over a bunch of new launches at Sephora. There have been so many launches over the past several months, but especially like in just the last month. I was gonna do a bunch of separate videos, but I'm just gonna combine them all, um, but I will have everything timestamped. So if you're only interested in a certain product, don't worry, everything will be timestamped below. What we're gonna be covering today, I mean, we are gonna be covering the new Tarte Maracuja lip oils. We're gonna be covering the new Patrick Ta highlighters. Mine just arrived like an hour ago. We're gonna be going over every single shade of the new Huda Beauty liquid blushes. We are finally going to be covering the House Labs blushes. We're gonna be covering, I, there's so much. We're gonna be covering the new Iconic London, um, like matte blush stick things. The new Fenty Beauty limited edition summer blush. And then we also have some more lip products. We are gonna be swatching every single shade of the new Edom Le Chow Chow Lip Softening Balm. I'm sure I butchered the name. And then there honestly might be some other products that I'll remember to include as we go. So if you are not already subscribed, please subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram. Also want to mention, want to mention, I am extending my 2000 subscriber giveaway until the 21st of June. So you still have, depending on when you watch this, still have time to enter. In order to enter, all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel here on YouTube, follow me on Instagram, comment on a recent Instagram reel, it doesn't really matter which one, and then DM me on Instagram letting me know what your YouTube username is, and then that will be your entry. As far as prizes go, I have a ton of my favorite products that I'm going to be giving away. I did go over those in my recent video. I will have that linked up here. And then on the communities tab, I will also post a photo of everything included. And who knows, I might throw in some more items. Okay, whew, out of breath, talking a lot. Let's go ahead and just get into the video. Before we get into the new products, I just wanted to mention like what I'm currently wearing because people like to know, and I will have everything linked down below, but for complexion, I'm actually testing out a new product. This was gifted to me. And this is from Trini London. This is a UK brand I've been wanting to try for a while. And this is their BFF Serum De-Stress. It's basically a tinted moisturizer. I'm wearing the shade Jemima. It's not like a perfect match, but it works well enough. So I'm wearing that. And then I am wearing the new Byredo palette, which is, if you watch my video, it's a frustrating palette. It does look pretty on the eyes, but yeah, wearing this. And then I'm wearing on my lips, another product from Trini London. This will definitely be in a favorite. This is their sheer shimmer, like lip and cheek in the shade Dido. And then just wearing like usual brows, mascara, et cetera. Um, I don't have any bronzer on my cheeks. I have a little bit of the same one on my forehead. Um, but yeah, just wanted to give you that rundown. Okay, now let's get into the first product. We are going to be talking about the new Le Chow Chow, I'm definitely butchering it, lip softening balms from the brand Edom. Okay. When these launched, I was so freaking excited because this Edom is a brand that has been at Sephora for a little bit and I picked up their like milky toner during the Sephora sale and I've been wanting to try a lot of their other products because they're all fragrance free. When they came out with these bombs, I was freaking out. I almost ordered them and then they reached out and gifted me all the shades. They reached out to me and were like, mm, would you like to try these? I was like, yes, please. Yes, please. So these were gifted, but as usual, these are my honest reviews and my honest opinions. Okay, so let's talk about the launch a little bit. These retail for $24. There are five shades. Ooh, one of them is already sold out on Sephora. Good for them. Um, the claims, what it is, an exfoliating to moisturizing lip balm with AHA and peptides to smooth ashy, flaky skin, reduce lip wrinkles, and lock in moisture with a glossy finish. Okay, so I wore one of these the other day. Super comfortable, really love the formula. I can't speak to like the claims of what it does to your lips over time because I haven't been testing them 
long enough, but what we will do together now is I will go ahead and apply them all. We'll do one on camera and then we'll do cutaways because I've gotten some feedback lately, totally valid that I'm like way too chatty in these videos. So we'll do one and then we'll cut away. I zoomed you in a little bit. I know like my head's kind of cut off, but I think it's more important for you to be able to see the product. So we are gonna start with the shade Butter Mochi. Um, I did wanna comment on the packaging. So it has like the nice little metal tip applicator, which I like. I personally found it really hard to squeeze the product out. Like, okay, maybe I'm exaggerating. The first time I was squeezing out the product, it was a struggle, but now that I've like almost broken the seal, so to speak of it, there's no problem. But if you first get them, just know they're a little hard to squeeze out initially. So Butter Mochi is just a clear. The best way I can describe these is a very like thick, but still emollient like lip mask. On the lips, it kind of reminds me of the Agave lip mask from Bite Beauty, RAP. They don't make it anymore, but as far as like the moisturizing elements and how it feels on the lips, that is the best way to describe it. Something I am noticing, which I didn't notice the other day, is I am getting a little bit of the cobwebbies on the lips. But typically that means you've over applied. So I'm gonna remove a little bit of the product and see if that helps. Oh yeah, cobwebs totally gone. Just don't over apply. Cobwebs totally gone, super comfy, super nourishing, very beautiful. And again, reminding me so much of that agave um, lip mask from back in the day from Bite Beauty. So this is the shade Butter Mochi. And then we will do cutaways um, for the other swatches so that people don't yell at me in the comments. I will go ahead and insert arm swatches here. These were taken in natural sunlight um, while I talk a little bit more about like my favorite shades. So the thing about these is kind of similar to the Rode tinted peptide lip treatments because they are like this like balmy consistency, the pigment is going to be a little bit, of course, sheerer. So I'm trying to think of the way to describe this. What I'm trying to get at is I recommend that you pick shades that are closer to your natural lip color. The more you deviate from your natural lip color in this formula, I find that it kind of emphasizes lip lines. It's not terrible, like it's totally doable. I'm wearing the shade Besop Glaze right now. It's not that bad at all but it does emphasize lip lines a little bit. And I think it's because the way like the pigment spreads. I'm not using scientific terms here whatsoever. Don't deviate too far away from your natural lip color in this formula or honestly in this type of a formula like the road peptide treatments, same thing because for some reason, I don't know the science behind it. It's almost like the darker pigment will like get into your lip lines and emphasize those a little bit. I still think this color is beautiful and I don't really care that it slightly, slightly emphasizes my lip lines. It's nothing crazy. However, in that deepest shade that I tried, yeah, in Boba Bounds, when I tried that on, that one, it was really patchy on me, really patchy on me. So if you just go based off of your own lip color. I would say my favorite shades are Fig Sauce and Burnt Malai. Burt Malai is this nudie color. I'll do a little hand swatch. And then Fig Sauce. Fig Sauce is the one that's currently sold out on Sephora, but I'll also have the Edom website linked down below. Is this beautiful? I mean, honestly, it's a fig color. Very, very pretty. So comfortable. These are amazing. So I highly recommend if you're in the market for like a thick, really hydrating 
tinted lip product, pick these up. And they're $24, which I think is very fair, very reasonable. You might ask like, how do these differ from the Summer Fridays lip tints? The formula feels so different. Like I would say the Summer Fridays ones are thinner and these are a little bit thicker, but in a good way. Like they really just coat the lip, but I love both the formulas. Let's move into the next new Sephora launch. While we're on lips, let's go ahead and talk about my latest obsession. One of those products, I'm like, why aren't these viral? Why aren't these viral? These are the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Plumping Lip Oils. Is Tarte overplaying the Maracuja Juicy thing the way that Charlotte, Charlotte Tilbury is overplaying the Pillow Talk? Yes, yes, but whatever, whatever, we're gonna get over it. So these are the new Maracuja Juicy Plumping Lip Oils from Tarte. I bought, I think like one during Tarte was having a sale and they were so amazing. I was so obsessed that then I found a set on QVC. Yes, I'm always buying makeup sets on QVC because you save so much money. Um, let's talk about these and then we'll move into the swatches. I'm pulling them up on my Sephora app. So these come in a shimmer formula and then just a normal formula. I only picked up the like non-shimmer because the photos I saw online, the shimmer ones were like glitter, glitter, like glitter, glitter to the point where I'm like, I, I'm too old for that. Um, now the claims, okay, what it is, a plumping lip oil that gives all the hydrating perks of an oil with high shine plump of a gloss. Okay, and that is how I would describe this formula. It's such an interesting high, true hybrid formula. And then look at the applicator. Oh, I should also mention these retail for $26. Okay, so this is the applicator. This one I haven't worn yet, but it has this little like poof ball and it's not like hard poof ball. It's completely like soft. It's like a little cotton ball. And to get the product out, you just click. How many clicks to the center of a lollipop? Okay, and then the product starts to come out like this. Now, I don't know why they chose to do an applicator like this. I don't know if there's a benefit to it. it doesn't really seem easier to apply, but I don't care. I like it. It's different. I dif it's different. So many people are launching lip oil, so many brands. Like, let's mix it up a little. Okay, so this is the shade Mixed Berries. Oh, and these smell so good. Oh, I forgot to mention the Edom ones also smell absolutely incredible. Okay, there's just something like, I don't know, so relaxing applying these. I don't know why. It's the scent, it's the like soft applicator and the pigment, you guys, the pigment is there. So great, like so far this year, I need to like look back at all the lip products that have launched, but probably like my favorite lip launch of the year so far are these. So this is the shade Mixed Berries. And they tingle a little bit. So they are plumping, but they're not gonna be painful like the satanic new Maybelline Lifter plumping glosses that like burn my lips off. These are going to be just like a little minty, a little tingly, the same level of tingling as the Tarte Maracuja like lip balm ones in the plumping formula. So if you're fine with those, you'll be fine with these. Definitely a little bit of a tingling, but nothing unbearable, like nothing super uncomfortable. Um, I will go ahead and stop talking now and we will roll through the lip swatches of the rest of the shades. Let's do the arm swatches really quickly. So here we have mixed berries, and then we move into honeysuckle, and then rose, cinnamon, and cherry. As far as shades go, um, I did notice for honeysuckle, and then a little bit for cherry, a tiny bit for cinnamon, but mainly just honeysuckle, the same phenomena I was describing for the like deeper shades for Edom um, and like the road peptide lip balms where it's like, it kind of emphasizes the fine lines, almost like the pigment sinks in 
to my lip line. So Honeysuckle, don't love that one for me. If you have a deeper skin tone or lips that are closer to Honeysuckle, I think it'll look beautiful. But if you don't, then I would maybe stay away from that shade. But all the other ones were beautiful. Cherry, you know what? It's just like tiny, like emphasizing a couple of lip lines, but like nothing super major, but I did want to mention that. But my favorite shades are definitely Mixed Berry and Rose. Rose also was like the most pigmented of them. It was really interesting. It was more of like a creamy pigment, more like a milky pigment as opposed to the other one. So these are a big hit for me. Tarte, I feel like always has really good sales. So I would be on the lookout. I'm sure they'll do like a great 30 to 40% off for 4th of July weekend. So definitely add these to your list. Now let's move into the cheek products. The first one that I have to talk about is the Fenty Beauty. These are the limited edition. I say air quotes because I feel like no makeup is actually limited edition anymore. Um, Hot Cheeks Fleur Blush Lighters in the shade Fresh Peach. This is what it looks like. Very, very, very reminiscent of NARS Orgasm. I'll end up doing a comparison swatch uh, to Ar NARS Orgasm. Now this, I haven't actually worn it on the cheeks yet, so this will be a first impression, but I am, was surprised about the formula. So like for, I don't know why I thought that it was going to be like a, I don't know, like more like a gel type of hybrid product similar to the House Labs highlighters, but it's not. It's kind of just like a baked shimmery blush, which there's nothing wrong with that. I just wasn't what I was expecting. So here we have like a little wrist swatch here. And don't worry, we will do better swatch and compare it to Orgasm shortly. Um, but these do come in three shades. Let me pull up a little bit more about the product. So there are three shades. So this is Fresh Peach, which is a mid-tone peach with gold pearl. There's Baked Peach, which is deep pink orange with pink and gold pearls. And then Juicy Peach, which is pink orange with gold pearl. These are still for $26. I think that's very reasonable. Um, also, the packaging is really, really cute. I love that Fenty kind of mixed it up with this outer packaging. Um, now for the claims, I mean, the claims aren't like dramatic. It says a limited edition blush lighter in three universal shades that deliver a peachy pink pop of color with warm golden shimmer finish. Something that I like is I like that like the shades that they launched are all like variations of the same shade. Like they just have different undertones, which I kind of like that because then different skin tones can experience a similar blush shade. Okay, now let's go ahead and try this on for brush. I'm just gonna go in with my trusty Refer 04 brush, not getting a lot of kick up, which is great. But again, kick up doesn't really bother me. Okay. I think that's pretty. Let me get my mirror. Whoa, this is so glitter, you guys. Okay. Ooh. I don't like that on me. That is way too glittery. Like for me, all I can see when I go, pretty much all I can, I mean, I see the pink, but then I'm just seeing so much of the gold shimmer. Where like if I were on a beach vacation, which I probably will never be on because I don't really like the beach. Then I would wear a blush like this. It's definitely like a vacation, but like an everyday blush. No, like I, I feel like it looks like children's makeup in my opinion. I hate to say that because I love Fenty Beauty, but I'm just being honest here, you guys. This one is not for me. It is so glittery, my goodness. Wow, I'm just stunned by all the glitter. Okay, so this is like a quick, able to tell you, like it's a no for me because of the glitter. But again, if you're going on like a beach vacation, I don't know, you're going to like a nightclub. Do people still go to nightclubs? You're going to a festival. You're going somewhere where like you're fine to have visible glitter on your face, then it's very pretty. But personally, it's not for me. What I am gonna do is I am gonna quickly grab NARS Orgasm and we will swatch NARS Orgasm next to this because I am 
very curious. That was so scary. I thought that I maybe had decluttered too close to the sun and decluttered NARS orgasm. I did not. I still have, I still have a NARS orgasm inside this little palette. Okay, so immediately I can tell you the biggest difference between the two is NARS orgasm does not have those chunks of glitter. Not like, I'm being dramatic, doesn't have as much glitter as the Fenty one does. So like you can see maybe in the swatch that the undertones are nearly identical, but with the Fenty one here, you're just getting way more of that glitter, which is what is just looking so unflattering on my face. Okay, enough rambling. I don't want people getting mad at me in the comments. Let's move on to the next launch. Now let's move into the long awaited review of the House Labs Color Fuse Long Wear Hydrating Glassy Lip and Cheek Blush Balm Stick. Why do brands have such laundromatic names? Why? Why are the product names now an entire poem? Okay, so these are basically, we're just gonna call them the new House Labs cheek blushes. So these launched maybe like three weeks ago now. I have been testing them for a while because I have been so torn how I feel about them. I've been so torn. Let me talk about the price points and then we'll get into my feelings on the product and the cheek swatches. So these retail for $34, they come in they come in eight shades. I picked up three. I picked up Glassy Lilac, Glassy Hibiscus, and Glassy Pomelo. And claims are a serum-based high pigment blush with more than 70% skincare and proprietary complexes that hydrate and make skin look plumper all in a long wearing glassy balm. When these first came out, the promo images kind of scared me because they looked so greasy and glassy to the point where it was very obvious that you were wearing like a creamy cheek product, which you want it to look like natural, not like Vaseline-y. So that really scared me. But then I was like, oh, for science, I'm gonna pick them up anyways. And I'm happy to report that they don't have, they don't look like greasy and Vaseline-y like they did in the promo images. I don't really have any issues with them except that they're just like, okay. So I don't think personally that they're super long wearing. Like when you first apply them, they are very beautiful. You'll see when I do the cheek swatches. Um, I also do like that they truly are a multi-product. These are truly a lip and cheek. They look beautiful on the lips, but I just find they don't last very long. Like I wore one to work yesterday and I, I don't know, I feel like after five hours, they're kind of gone. If these came out maybe like three years ago or even like two years ago before every single brand ever had a stick cheek blush, I'd be like, these are really, really good. And these are really cool. But now I'm like, they're just okay. Like they're just okay. I definitely, definitely recommend the Kaja dewy lip ones way over these. now. From a packaging perspective, I like this better. One of the issues, or one of like my small gripes, small complaints with the Kaja ones, and I don't have one in front of me, but I'll put it on the screen, is the packaging because it is that like stick. I actually find that it's kind of harder to apply them on your lips. And because I actually love that formula so much on the lips, it is one that I would like to take on the go. Whereas with these, this is a product where I could take on the glow, take on the glow, take on the go and just apply to my lips as well. Let's go ahead and apply them though. Um, I will do one application um, on camera so you can see the blend. And then we will do off camera for the other ones. I'm also gonna apply this one to my lips. Yep, very pretty on the lips. I mean, not this particular shade on me, kind of washes me out, but like the formula itself is pretty. Now, as far as blend, you really can blend these with your fingers, which is nice. Um, or you can obviously go in with a brush. I, for this formula, kind of have been liking doing it with my fingers. I don't know why. Um, but I also feel like when you're blending it out, it kind of like blends away. I don't know. I feel like the pigment's already kind of gone. You know, I feel like you kind of have to build up with a lot of product to get a pigment. 
Oh my God, I keep doing this where I am not paying attention. So I'm looking in my mirror down here and then I'm like applying blush basically under my eye, which is probably like a TikTok trend that's coming soon, if isn't already. So ignore that fact. Okay, yeah, you can barely see it. I'm actually, now I'm like mm, kind of getting annoyed with this product now that I'm reapplying it. But anyways, this is the shade Glassy Pomelo. After the experience of like reapplying these, I'm actually like changing my opinion to where like, I just like don't like these. They don't provide enough pigment with the exception of Glassy Lilac. Like if you're gonna get one of the ones I've tried, Glassy Lilac is my recommendation because it has way more pigment. I feel like I can actually see it peeking through. Whereas the other ones, the other two, I'm just like, meh, I don't know. Not worth it because they don't last that long. The only thing that I think makes Glassy Lilac worth it is it is a more unique shade because it is a true lilac. So we have Glassy Lilac here, Glassy Hibiscus, and Glassy Pomelo. We're not done quite yet. Grab a coffee, grab a tea, grab an Olipop, and we'll keep going. The next blush launch we are gonna talk about is from Iconic London. I think Iconic London is an underrated brand. Yes, their packaging is cheap. It is far too cheap for the price point, but the products are great. Um, so Iconic London launched these new blurring blush sticks. I picked up two shades. I picked up Cosmo and Daiquiri. They come in three different shades. They retail for $26. Now the claims, I'm reading from the Sephora app, a buttery soft lip and cheek blush in a velvet matte finish that gives beautiful blurred satin skin look all day long. So the claims are that is going to be more of a like, I mean, my interpretation of that, it's gonna be a little bit more of a like cream to powder type of finish. Now I did wear one of these like last week and I really liked it. Let's first do some swatches. So this is the shade Cosmo and then we have Daiquiri. <gasps> what the heck? Okay, that's super annoying. The product fell out of the tube. Like, no, that's, that's annoying. Also, that's kind of crazy. If you saw when the product was out, how little product is in there. It's like this much product. Makeup brands be scamming us today. Like the shrinkflation, even if they're not shrinking the size of the components, they are shrinking the amount of product in there. They are trying to squeeze us for every last dime. Anyways, okay, so we have Cosmo and then we have Daiquiri. So Cosmo. Daiquiri. So Cosmo is like a cooler toned like rose and then Daiquiri is a really nice like peachy baby pink. Okay so this formula is one that has blurring components and like when I am blurring it out and blending it out the formula is reminding me so much of the new Lawless beauty blushes like so much of the new Lawless like cream to powder, whatever they're called, um, which I did review previously. I will have that video linked up above, but very, very similar. And that when you like blur it out, it starts to feel, excuse me, blend it out. It starts to feel like a, kind of like a powder finish. I also removed my lip product so we can try these on the lips as well. Let's go ahead and go in. I'm gonna do one on each cheek. I'm just gonna apply directly to the cheek and then let's do daiquiri on the lips. Oh, uh-uh. Oh, that is disgusting on the lips. Holy, like I'm gonna zoom you in. Look how disgusting this looks on the lips. Ew, it's like chalky. So that's a no for the lips. Yeah, no. That's a no for the lips, at least in that shade. Um, but for the cheek, 
Let's blend this one out on camera. I'm just gonna go in with this LYS brush. Ooh, that blended so quickly. Pretty much as quickly as those lawless ones. Oh, very, very, very pretty. Now let's go in on the other side with Cosmo. I cleaned off my brush off camera because someone got annoyed that I did it on camera before, but I'm just letting you know I cleaned off my brush. We're not mixing the colors here. Ooh, another easy, easy blend. Very, very pretty. Now let's try Cosmo on the lips. This product is not for lips. Like, ew. Cosmo on the lips looks better than Daiquiri, but it's not something I'm gonna like apply again on my lips. Um, okay, so shades. Here we have Daiquiri. Cosmo. I like these. I'm not like blown away like I was with the Lawless blushes. Um, at least I'm pretty sure in the video I said I really, really liked them. If I didn't, then I've been using them a lot since and I really like them. Um, so let me mention that. Um, these are fine. Like these are nice. These are nice. They're nice. They're nice. I like them. I like them. They're nice. I don't know if you need to like rush out and buy them. No, you don't need to rush out and buy them. I'm gonna tell you like, no. They're fine. I'm gonna stop talking so we can get into the Huda Beauty, oh, what are these called? Blush filter cheek, liquid cheek thingies. Now it is time to move into one of the launches that I'm most excited to talk about. These are the Huda Beauty Blush Filter Liquid Blush. Now I picked up every single shade of these. I, I did. I did. I did. At first I was like, oh, I don't need another liquid blush. Ew, another liquid blush. No, no, no. You guys, these are fantastic. These are fantastic. Let me first like go over the details and then I'll get into why I love them. And we'll also try all of the shades on my face. So a little bit more about these. So these retail for $21, which I think in today's economy is very fair. I mean, those Tarte lip oils were 26. These are $21. Um, they come in five shades, I have all five, and the claims are a lightweight liquid blush with buildable pigments and finely milled micro pearls for a soft focus, high impact glow. Okay, you guys, the promo for these products, I thought was very clever. Um, the influencers who received these as gifts were also received like these little like goggle blindfold things. And the whole claim is that these blend so easily that you can do them blindfolded and these blend so easily, I think I would be able to do it blindfolded. I'm not gonna do that today. Um, but these are just, ah, the formula is so great, it's so buildable. You'll see when I'm applying them just how easily they blend. I also love the colors. I will insert the arm swatches here. All the colors are absolutely beautiful. And then the packaging. You guys, the packaging is just so cute. It's just like so 90s to me, it's very like, Someone pointed out on my Instagram, it's very like K-beauty. I love that the outer packaging matches the inner packaging. These are just, I love them. I love them. Of everything we talked about today as far as new launches, these are by far, without a question, my favorite of all of the new launches. Okay, wait, I haven't tried the Patrick Ta highlighter yet. So at this moment, my favorite by far. So um, let's go ahead and just apply them. I will apply a couple on camera so you can see how they blend and then we'll do the rest off camera. So let's go in with Cotton Candy. I also really like that all of the names are like foods and fruits. I don't know, I just think that's cute. Okay, so you can just really scribble it on if you want and yeah, love that. So you can just see how much I applied here. And then the blend, it's going to be so, so easy. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Could I make it more precise? Yes. But this is enough and I'd be good to go. So this is the shade Cotton Candy. 
I also have got to show you on camera how beautifully black cherry blends. Okay, I did apply too much of that one, you guys. That, <laughs> okay, that was user error though. That was not an issue with the product being too pigmented. That was just me going a little too crazy for a shade that is, you know, on me, on the darker side. Okay, these also smell so good. I don't know what they smell like, but they smell like candy. Obviously, this is not how you would, how much you would apply, but even so, you can see that like just like the tone of that cherry shade is so beautiful. It is very much like a sunburnt shade. So this is the shade Black Cherry. Don't be afraid of it. I promise you it is so wearable and so beautiful despite my over application. Okay, we are going to cue the rest of the cheek swatches. I redid the black cherry swatch because I wanted you to see how wearable it actually is. So we have black cherry on this side of my face. So not only do I love how buildable and like blendable this product is, but I don't know, there's just something about this formula that just makes it so easy to layer as well. I'm gonna go ahead and layer a couple of dollops of black cherry on top. And you know what, maybe other liquid blushes layer really well and Huda Beauty was just smart enough to like include that in a lot of the promo short form videos showing how she layers the different ones. But it's just another plus of this formula that I wanted to point out. That is it for blushes. The only thing we have left is the new Patrick Ta highlighter. So let's get into that one. I have the coveted new Patrick Ta highlighter duo. I picked up the shade Baby. This shade is at this moment sold out on Sephora. I'm sure it'll be restocked soon, but these retail for $40, which I mean, expensive, but in today's economy, like makeup economy, not the end of the world. Um, and you, for these, they are similar to the Patrick Ta blush duos where you get a powder and a cream and the way his formulas are formulated and his technique, I don't know why I'm like reaching across my face. Um, the recommendation is to apply the powder and then the cream on top. So these come in five different shades. When I first saw the promo, images of the product up close, I was scared because they looked really glittery, but seeing it up close, it's not overly glittery. Let me remove this little top flap. Sorry, it's looking a little blown out in the viewfinder, but it is like a very light baby pink highlighter. And in the arm swatches, it did look like there was some variety in the different colors, but it's like, I'm just gonna get one. I'm just gonna get one because you never know, like this is a new formula. It could end up being a bust. So let's go ahead and go through, oh, the claims. An intentionally translucent, okay, interesting, interesting. I'm glad, I'm glad I'm reading this. An intentionally translucent, versatile cream and powder highlight duo that lets skin shine through, infused with multifaceted pearls for an ultra refined shimmer and dewy glow. Okay. Okay, let's start off with swatches. So we are gonna swatch the powder highlight here. Okay, that is a very finely milled, very like barely there highlighter. Like I, I don't even know if it's gonna pick up on camera at all. And then we have the cream, which honestly is kind of just like a gloss with some shimmers, which interesting choice. We will do that next to the highlighter. Okay, yep, also translucent. And then we will do the layering swatch. So we're gonna do the powder. We'll do it on my hand, okay. So here we have it on my hand. You can actually see it now on my hand. 
And then we will layer the cream on top. This is what it looks like. So it's very, very wet looking. Let's go ahead and apply these to the cheek. I'm just gonna go in with this like Laura Lee brush. It's a little bit of like a denser blush for brush for a highlighter, but. Ooh, that's really cool. That's actually like very glass-like. Okay, I'm gonna zoom you in more. So here we have the highlight. You can definitely see it showing up in the viewfinder. Here we have it on this side. Now let's go ahead, let's go ahead and layer in the cream. So I'm gonna just do that with my fingers. I mean, that's very glossy. I feel like this is looking, this is like really pretty and like editorial for every day. Like, no, I'm not gonna like wear this to the office probably, but for an occasion, it is very pretty. Okay, I'm like surprised. I thought I was gonna hate these. Let me inspect with my mirror. Okay, first impression, pretty, but I'm seeing a lot of the micro glitter actually up close. In the viewfinder, it looks like beautiful, but a lot of the glitter is actually picking up, which was what I was fearing in the first place. I'm touching my cheek and it's just a lot of micro shimmer and glitter. I actually like the, I like the side with the gloss much more. I think the gloss almost, like soften some of the glitter or maybe like the glitter came off when I was applying the gloss over it. But I don't know. I'm actually like very on the fence about this. Uh, okay, no, there's too much glitter. You guys, there's too much glitter. I'm like looking in my mirror here and all I can see right here is glitter, 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 glitter. Like is glitter back and I'm just unaware between the Fenty glitter and then this? It's, no. No, no, I don't like it. I don't like it. It is exactly what I expected it to be. It is just a ton of little micro glitters. Now this is really pretty for like an editorial look or I don't know, like a fun occasion, but for everyday use, hard pass on this, like hard pass. I'm so glad I only picked up one of these. I'll continue playing around with it. And if my opinion changes, I will let you know. But my first impression is that this is way too glittery and I'm disappointed. You stayed all the way to the end. Thank you so much. I'm gonna do a quick overview of everything we talked about. Just a reminder of my final thoughts. So starting with the Eden Bombs. Love these, love these. I'm actually wearing one of them right now. I'm wearing uh, Burnt Malai. And the more I've been wearing these throughout the video, the more I'm in love with them. So these are a massive thumbs up from me. The Tarte Maracuja Lip Oil, another massive thumbs up from me. Love these. Um, colors were a little hit and miss. So if you're interested in these, I would go in store and actually like swatch them. And I would swatch them like on a, almost like a wrinkly part of your hand so you can see where some of these might settle into the fine lines of the lips. But big thumbs up, but shade dependent. The House Labs plushes, the category is just like nothing to write home about. They're meh. They're meh, I'm not gonna recommend them. They're fine, they're not terrible, they're nothing to write home about. The Fenty Beauty Blush, like glitter bomb. Unless you're going on a tropical vacation or to a rave, you should not buy this. No, skip, no. Sorry Fenty, love you Rihanna, but no. The Iconic London Blush Sticks, fine, nothing to write home about. Get the Lawless um, new cream to powder blushes. They're better, these are fine, they're pretty, they're okay, but I don't know. I feel like if these were like Sephora collection and I paid like $15, I'd be happy, but I don't know, they're just okay. Middle of the road, don't hate. Not gonna recommend though, they're, they're fine. Huda Beauty liquid blushes, obsessed, obsessed, obsessed. I need to like think through the blushes of the year that I've launched so far, definitely like in my top five for sure. Um, also, I wanna mention, I will still be doing my like giant blush video of like all of the blushes that have launched since my last blush video. I have like so many more behind me. Um, so that's still coming, don't worry. And the big bronzer video is coming still. I just wanted to test a little bit longer. And you know my feelings on this one, um, it's a no. It's not even a middle of the road. It's just, 
It's a no, it's beautiful micro glitters, but I don't want micro glitters on my face. I hope this video was fun, helpful. Hopefully I saved you money and then also maybe encourage you to buy a few things, which if you do decide to purchase any of these things, I would love if you consider purchasing through my affiliate links down below. It does help support my tiny little growing channel. Also giveaway, don't forget giveaway. Um, all the products included were in my last video, so you can watch that and go to that timestamp to enter. You just need to be subscribed to me and then comment on a recent Instagram reel and then message me on Instagram, letting me know your YouTube user name. Okay, that is it. This was a long one. Once I edit it, I'm kind of scared. I don't know how long this is gonna be. Um, but thank you so much for being here. And I look forward to you joining me in my next video.